Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video, and today I'm coming to you guys to show you guys a project I've been working on called PS3 Reclassic. Now, the goal of PS3 Reclassic is to mimic or replicate the XMB um, before version 3.0 came out in 2009. So, this is basically a pre-3.0 um uh, attempt, or uh, it's an attempt to replicate the pre 3.0 uh, firmware look uh, for the XMB, and that includes the borderless clock, the original PSN logo, the um, almost perfect replication of the uh, wave from before uh, 3.0, and the XMB layout, which is there's no video and TV thing, but there wasn't the TV uh, category thing um, before 3.0 came out, but I know there was a video thing. Um, before I had gotten this uh, layout thing, I uh, the video category wasn't there um, when I got this file. And speaking of files, um, so I want to give a big shout out to Charles in Town on PSX Place for supplying uh, or not, not spy, but making the borderless clock file and the layout that you are seeing. So all of this. So yeah, and I want to give another shout out to Ultra Zero on YouTube for uh, having the uh, file for the uh, for the wave. So big shout out to both of those guys. Um, their links will be in the description, and I will show you um, how to install this. And the uh, link to the, uh, the the RAR file will be in the uh, description. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get to it. Okay, so first you want to uh, load up Multiman, and uh, you uh, want to go to settings. You want to go all the way down here. And just click right access to Dev Flash. Make sure this is enabled, and you can do this process via FTP or a USB stick but uh, yeah so from here you want to go to the file manager uh, multi-man uh, OS thing click this and you would uh, this wouldn't be open but you would click PS3 root and then I'm doing this over USB so you'd click this so you have one window for your uh, your USB and folders right there and then you'd go to PS3 root and you will have uh, you'll open up the dev blind uh, directory. So now um, from here you just go to this window, uh, open this, and you'll have a bunch of folders here. So you'll have one for the borderless clock, one for the Colby music and animation, the game boot, the wave, and the layouts. So yeah. Uh, so let's let's start with the borderless clock. So this you just copy this. Uh, press circle or yeah press X on this then circle copy it uh, go to your deadline window click VSH resource and just paste this anywhere in here so yeah once that's pasted uh, you'll go to this window click the two uh, dots at the top and now next we'll do the uh, we'll do the cold boot so yeah uh, you'll just copy three of these files and go back to here on this window and you'll just uh, paste these here and one thing I want to mention is uh, right here actually uh, you'll have the you'll most likely have the cold boot dot raf file on here uh, you want to delete that if you don't delete that file the cold boot file is going to overlap with the custom render and it's 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 not gonna look right at all. It's gonna be all messed up. So make sure you delete the cold boot uh, .rat file. Um, I don't have an example here because I already deleted it, but I'll use this uh, original thing. I'll just delete that and yeah. So you want to make sure you delete that. And next we will do the uh, the game boot. So the game boot, you can only, as you can see in parentheses, you can only use this for custom firmware. If you're on Hen, do not do this step. You will soft break your system. It's 
I don't know if there's a way you can use this on hen, but I know uh, when I tried doing this on hen, I soft freaked my system. So don't do this step if you're on hen. Uh, just a warning. Uh, you've been warned now, so if you try doing this and you soft brick, uh, just reinstall your firmware um, through safe mode. I'm not responsible for any uh, damages uh, that might be done to your console, but yeah. So once you are on your dev blind window, uh, you'll click the two dots so you'll uh, on the resource thing, and you'll be here. So you'll open up the module folder now, and you'll just paste this file. Uh, Anywhere, oh shoot, wait, oh. I forgot to copy this. Uh, copy this and paste this in here, and that's the game boot step. So now we will have the wave. So just copy this, go back to resource, open up the QGL folder here, and just paste this here, and boom. That's that, that's the wave. Final step will be X and B layouts. Copy both of these. And then press the two dots up here so you're back in the resource. Just copy this anywhere, paste this, and that's it. So now all you just do is just go down here and click restart system. And once you restart your system, I will show you how this looks. And there you go, there you have it, there it is. Um, so now you have the original PSN logo, borderless clock, and yeah, you have everything here. Um, start up a game so you can see the game boot, and I'll just start up Demon Souls, and yeah, there you go. If you guys want more videos like this, uh, please let me know. Um, any feedback would be greatly appreciated. Um, this is still a work in progress. This is the uh, very first version, so uh, this is not this is not like uh, the final version. Um, but yeah. Um, other than that, hope you guys have a great night or a great day, and yeah, peace out.